What's going on, everybody? Brian Power of Wagetalk.com back with you to discuss some Friday night Big Ten action. Number 11, Wisconsin, who is coming off a loss at Penn State, will host Indiana tonight. Oddsmakers have this one lined with the Badgers as an 11-point home favorite. And the total, which has caught my eye, has dropped from 144.5 to 142.5. Now, if you've been paying close attention here on Wage Talk TV, then you may recall earlier in the week, I did a game preview for Wisconsin-Penn State. I said to take the points with the home underdog, Nittany Lions. Turned out to be a great call. Penn State wins outright 87-83 to there. Probably a good time to remind you to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube page so you don't miss any of our exclusive game previews like the one where I gave out Penn State. And looking back at how that game played out, uh, Wisconsin fell into an early hole. That was the key to the game. They trailed 12-2 and never really recovered as they allowed Penn State to shoot 53.3% from the field. It was the Badgers' first conference loss, so everyone in the Big Ten has now dropped at least one conference game. And it snapped a six-game win streak overall. It also marked the end of a 5-0 ATS win streak for the Badgers. Now, let's look at Indiana for a minute. They've been alternating wins and losses over their last five games. If that pattern holds tonight, well, it'd be a good thing for the Hoosiers because they're coming off an ugly 87-66 home loss to Purdue on Tuesday. Indiana has dropped back-to-back games only one time all season. Those losses were to Auburn and Kansas, two top 20 teams. From a point spread perspective, IU's been pretty good when off a loss this season. 3-1-1 one, one against the number. However, I don't really like their chances of winning this game as they're 2-6 and six straight up as a dog compared to 10-0 and straight up as a favorite this season. So I'm not really in a rush to take the points, especially with Indiana's 7-17 seven and 17 ATS road record the last three seasons. The total, as I alluded to earlier, is where I'd attack this matchup. As I mentioned earlier, we've already seen some money come in on the under, and I happen to agree with that move. Indiana is averaging only five made threes per game. That won't cut it on the road, and Wisconsin plays slow. 316th in adjusted tempo per Ken Palm. So under 142 and a half is the play here. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think of that play, or if you agree, just simply smash that like button. Works as well. A reminder, once again, subscribe if you already haven't to the Wage Talk YouTube page. Head on over to my page as well, wt.buzz backslash bp for all of this weekend's winners. Go back to Christmas. I'm on a 21-5 and five run with best bets in all sports. That's all plays rated 4% or higher, including a perfect 3-for-3 three three with 5% max bets. You remember we uh, cashed one of those on Wednesday with LSU over Ole Miss. I was also 4-1 and one on NFL Wildcard Weekend. Number one in all sports at Wager Talk over the last seven days. Not to mention number one in ROI since December 1st. 89.6 units of profit going back to early November. So it has been quite the run. And it's an ideal time to get on board because we've got a big weekend of divisional round winners in the NFL playoffs, college basketball, NBA, soccer. You can get it all and you can save 20% when you do it uh, by using the coupon code TAKE20. That's T-A-K-E-2-0. And that will save you 20% off the cost of any all-access pass, whether it's one day, three days, seven days, 30 days, even a full year, again, coupon code TAKE20, T-A-K-E-2-0 at checkout, will save you 20% off the cost of any all-access pass. Just head on over to my page, wt.buzz backslash BP, for this weekend's winners. Until next time, let's cash some winning tickets, and for more game previews, all you need to do is click on this next video.